What is up guys, this is Austin Nerd Show with another My Morphin Collection episode. It's been a while since we've done an episode on a Zord here, uh, but I've been kind of waiting to get a couple Zords, and this is one um, that we're going to start out with, and the one of them that I was waiting on, there were two. I was able to find one, so that's why we're doing this video today. And as you would have seen in the picture, like the title of the video, we're going to do more than just this today, but we're starting out with this. So this is what I just got. This is the Red Battle Zord, and so all these are from Power Rangers Zeo. Again, one of my favorite uh, seasons of Power Rangers. I don't know why I just watched it and enjoyed it so much. And I love the Zords and everything, and I mean, it gave, it, gave inspiration for my gamer tag, which is Fallen Red Zeo, which has a lot to do with the Red Ranger from Zeo and stuff. And so that's why I just... Um, it, I enjoy this a lot. And so we're starting out with the red battle zord here. And so as I mentioned before, we did two other videos. We did the um, Zeo Megazord and the Super Zeo Megazord in past videos. I think those were probably about the last zord videos I did maybe. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I was waiting on this and then I'm waiting on the Shogun Zord from back from Mighty Morphin that I still haven't been able to find. But I found this at a local toy store and so I was super excited to finally get this to be able to do videos on it. But we're going to go and start with this. So this, not, all these orts today don't really do much of anything. Um, so that's why we're doing them all together. So this is the red battle zord. And so it's got the red star here. And so this is one of Tommy's zords. So this is like his additional zord that he has aside from the zord from the Super Zeo and the regular Zeo Mega Zord. Um, so this is just his uh, additional zord he gets in the show. This does do stuff. Um, which I'll show here in a second. So here it is up close. You can see the star there. And then it has the coin here, which is probably hard to see in the light. But it's got all the logos because in the Zeo, they all have different shapes associated with their um, names and stuff. And they all have to do with like their numbers. So the Red Ranger is number five. So he has a star because it's got five points and stuff. And so it's all that. So I really enjoy that about the show too, the whole shape thing. So that's a closer look up close. Um, so one of the things he does is you can, as you can see here, he has buttons. I don't, unfortunately, don't have batteries to go for this. So when I bought this, this was in the package. It had been open before, but it had none of the stickers on it. So I put all the stickers on, which was just a very few. And uh, like the battery compartment looks super clean. So I don't know if it's ever been used. So it probably works, but I don't have the batteries that go for it. But with it, you can like hold up his hands like this. And then when you turn it on, his hands will start like going in and out like they're blasted because they're obviously fists there and you can pull these forward. So now they look like guns, as you can see. And so they start like springing back and forth. This one's not doing something <laughs> like sticking for some reason, but they like start like doing like that kind of thing. So it's like, you know, it's shooting and like going bah, 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 type thing. So that's one of the few things that it does, which like I said, I wish I had the batteries to do it. Another thing is it extends, which it goes, which we'll see here in a second, why it does that. So it extends up and down, and then it does have a helmet on here, which you can take off, which is, again is the start. And then on the back, it's an additional helmet there with what looks like, you know, cannons possibly there on the head and then the um, all the logos there on the back. And then it has these claw things, which we'll see here in just a second. So we'll put this back on for now. And so to see exactly what it does, we'll just leave it in this tall form. Then we can bring in the Zeo Megazord here. And so this is their regular Zord, or their like basic plane Zord, one of the two. And this is the only one that really does stuff with this. So this is the Zeo Megazord um, that they normally have. And so with this, you can uh, go ahead and take this hat off, which is belongs to the um, Red Ranger, because each Zord has its own helmet. And so this is just the normal one, the Red Ranger's version, because it goes with the Falcon Zord, or the Phoenix Zord here on the back and stuff. But you then take it and those uh, little like gaps down here go attached to the back of the Zords. You just slide it in there. Then you take these claws and pull it forward to get it attached on there. So you just push it down and it kind of locks it in. You can then spin the arms around and point them up like this. And then pull the helmet off and you keep it the opposite direction. So that other, so the way it was facing and you just attach it onto there. And then you have the Zeo Mega Battle Zord. So again, they just can attach together. And again, if the battery works, you could turn it on and it would, you know, do the whole blaster things coming off the shoulders. And so that's one of the forms that it does there. And um, so the other forms we won't be able to do right away. 
we'll have to um, bring in the next component. So that's the Z Omega Baz Zord showing off the Z Omega Zord and the Red Battle Zord there together. And next appears our next part, which is Pure Midas. So this is the Gold Ranger Zord from Zeo, and so it's like the big mega, I don't know what you call it, like it's the super big Zord from the show. It's got the carrier mode and the battle mode and all sorts of stuff that goes along with it. And so as I said, this is the Gold Ranger, so the sixth Ranger of this season, and it's got Jason that came back from, you know, Mighty Morphin was the Red Ranger. He came back for this season, became the Gold Ranger, and so this is his Zord. And so as you can see, it's a pyramid, so that's why it's pure Midas, and then Midas is from... Uh, King Midas with the gold, with the golden touch or whatever you call it, and so that's, it's the Gold Ranger. So that's why they combine the name to make this. And so I love this sword a lot. It doesn't do a whole lot or anything, but it's really fun and cool. Um, so one of the things you can, or one thing you do is turn it into like its battle mode type thing. And so you just have to pull this out, which it's kind of hard to do because it's like a spring type thing, and so it's kind of weird how it works. And then on the side here bend the arms up real quick it has these things that can lock it so you just once you extend it out you just turn in the lock so that hopefully they don't collapse in and uh, fall on itself and then you can fold this up and so now it will stand up which I know it's going to be out of the picture here but I don't have any more room than this and then on the hand you can turn it around and so it's actually got like hands and stuff and the arms fall off real easily unfortunately but um, I can't really do much about that uh, but like I said this will be on a screen you can then pull this part down and fold it down and it kind of snaps in there so it has the gold rangers logo there as you can see and it's six as you can see it's got you know one two three four five six type thing and then it's got this that's like a giant gun type or thing that shoots out of it and then up top which I'll probably bring it down here so you can see you fold this back if I can get it to fold back and then you can pull the head up here so it's like another smaller pyramid and fold this up and then now you have a head and so it's got like a face and everything and then again the logo as well and so then you can obviously stand this up and again I know it doesn't fit but like I said unfortunately I have no more room than what I have here and so it's unfortunate that it doesn't work so there is pure Midas in his just like battle mode type thing or just whatever I don't know exactly what mode it's called but it's just where he's like actually standing up in a Zord mode. I wish it would fit in the screen there. And then with that, you can then also take the red battle Zord and take him. And on the back here, that part that folded down um, has that. And so you can take it and sit it up on here. I don't know which way it goes, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't seem like either way fits. Oh, maybe there it does that way. Because uh, it's got like little like spots here, like these little um, raised things. And the, so they kind of fit in like these small uh, slots here on the feet and stuff. So you, I guess it sits that way. Um, I, would, I don't know if you then, I don't know what you do with those if you just leave them up or what. Um, so I tried looking at pictures and I couldn't really figure anything. And then you can, which I'll show you in a second. As it all is just falling apart on me now. And then you can put the turn the arms around like you could on the other Zord. And then so, you know, it's the guns again on Pyramidus. And then this forms the warrior mode with this together. And I think you take the helmet off for that. And like I said, I don't know exactly what you do with like these. Because I don't feel they shouldn't be there in this version. But you can't. I tried to fold them down and it wouldn't fit on the back like it's supposed to. But so there it is in warrior mode. So it's just, you know, Pyramidus with the red battle Zord up on the top adding more guns to it and then the other mode you can do is we'll take the battle zord off and then we'll just kind of lay him down now so we'll fold the head back in and then so it just folds inside there fold this part up here like that and it kind of just snaps in and then take the arms which it makes a lot of noise and like so they fall off pretty easily but you just spin them around and so they have wheels so here's like a look at the back so he's all like hollow inside pretty much but here on the back on the arms they have wheels there's wheels here there's like fake wheels here and then wheels in the front too and so you just spin the arms around like that and flatten them out so then you can lay him down like that put the helmet back up there this little back part folds out and so that gives us a place now to stand the red battle zord 
and we'll flip the arms around here real quick. Fold that down and then he stands forward this time this way. So he just stands on there like that. Then in the middle here, you can fold these parts up. There's right next to the pyramid part, those little flings that fold up first. You have to close this though to push that down in there. And then you just fold these up. They don't stick or anything, unfortunately. I wish they did, but they don't. So just they kind of float up there. And then on the front here, you just shut this down a little. Um, the little feet thing, you just close it down a little part like that. It's a, again, fortunately, I don't know if since it's age or whatever, but it just doesn't stick very well. But you just stick it there like that. And then you can take all of the Zeo Zords. So we have Zeo Zord 5 here, which is the Phoenix Zord. And it's supposed to stand up here. Like, that. it's not very good, though. You have the red Zeo Zord. Then you have Zeo Zord number 1 and Zeo Zord number 2, which are the pink and yellow Zords. They sit up there, and now they... On Pyramidus here, it has little indentions so you can like sit stuff in. So like the wheels on this like sit into those things to keep it from going or from not going anywhere. Then we have Zeo Zord number three, which has again has small indents or they're like little cutouts here. There's one here and then two on the feet. And so for the Zeo Zord, its feet can go in there, which again with it being all weird like it is, it's kind of hard to get it. And with the front here not being steady, it kind of falls down, unfortunately. And then you can take Zeo Zord 4, the bull, and stick it up here. And again, there's little compartments for it to stick in as well, which it's completely on the feet part. See, I don't like, I need something to hold it up. Let's see if we can get this pop box to hold it up. There we go. So we got a pop box there to hold it up. So now we can fit it all. Then, of course, these attached to the Zords and stuff. And so now in this form we have the carrier mode forming the Ultra Zeo Zord. So with all these together it just forms into the Ultra Zeo Zord. And I think this looks super cool with all of them on there. Like I said I wish the feet there are screws. Maybe I could like screw those tighter in or something like that. But I wish this would stand up because I think it would be a lot cooler with them all together. So now it's like I said they're in carrier mode forming the Ultra Zeo Zord or Zeo Ultra Zord whatever you form you call it like that and I just think it looks super cool and so that's pretty much all there is like we can obviously do it in reverse and stuff but pretty much it's just putting pyramidus folding the arms back and pushing the legs in is all it is the form pyramidus but the last thing we have on this um set, or the, in this video with the zeo zords the last zord I have for it is wheel warrior so this is just a little um it's like an attachment I guess you could say to the Zeo Zords. I know one of the Zeo Zords I remember in the show used it as a weapon, but it's another little Zord. I think it looks funny because it looks like a football player. Like it's got a football helmet on and stuff. But it's a wheel warrior. And again, it has the Zeo logo, which I wish to the light there. You can see it a little bit better there on the front. And so it's a fun, <laughs> this Zord is just so much fun. And so this is it in like its warrior mode. So where it can like fight and stuff. But to get in the wheel, you just fold the head down, push these legs up. Now the arms are very finicky since they're so like dangly on the zord but you just got to get it, the head in and push that closed together and then fold the arms in so just make sure they're inside and so they're now to wheel and so i like i remember the show like a zord would like take him like throw it or kick it or something like you know bounce off whatever the bad guy was and stuff but the coolest thing i like so you can like take this and roll it like you know play it with it like an actual wheel and then when you want it to be in the mode you just let it fall like when if you roll it you know it'll fall or if you just want to, you just pop it down so and it'll do this and it just pops right out of the thing because it's got um, these little red hook or um, like pegs here that end up you know like falling and hitting them and it releases this part and so it bounces up and it folds out into the warrior wheel and I just think it's so much fun and cool how it does that how it just like pops out and everything it's not a cool looking sword like I like the center here with the Zeo logo or like the symbols and stuff but other than that it's not really that cool of a thing in my opinion or like it's actual like form doesn't but I like the whole popping out type thing that it does but that's going to be it for this episode of my morphin collection where we looked at this
where we looked at the rest of the Zeo Zords. So again, we had Pure Midas, the Big Mighty Zord, the Carrier Zord, along with the Zeo Mega Zord and the Red Battle Zord, all combining together to form the Zeo Ultra Zord. And then we had Warrior Wheel added on. There's only one more Zord from this set. The um, I think it's like Auric the Conqueror or something like that along those lines. But I'm not interested in that because it doesn't really go with these. It doesn't do anything. It's just its own separate little Zord that kind of helps them in the show and stuff. So other than that, it's not really, in my opinion, that great or anything. But it's still, um, this is all the Zeo Zords I'm going to get, though. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you like Zeo as much as I do and you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe because hopefully now that I got these, I can start moving on to all the other seasons of Power Rangers. Like I said, I still got the Shogun Zord I really want. If I ever get that, I'll come back and do that. But we'll move on now to the other seasons. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy this My Morphin Collection set showing off all my Power Rangers Zords. And I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.